tagger is one of the most powerful tools we have in Writer Duet. Whether you're just starting off with your script or breaking it down for production, the tagger can be a great, quick way to leave yourself reminders in your script. We think it's more helpful to just go over the general use and all the different bells and whistles. To use the tagger, we just need to simply access the three-line menu icon on the left-hand side of your screen. If you're using either the classic or hybrid layout, you should see these exact same menu options going along the top end of your screen. So once you locate the tools menu, just click that and we can access the tagger. You can notice on Windows, you can also use the keyboard shortcut Control alt t and if you're on Mac, it will be Command-Option-T. And once you click Tagger, you should see it appear in the bottom right-hand corner in a little pop-up tab window, which you can minimize or expand. Once the Tagger is open, we can create a new tag and click on the square to the left to change the color and then hit enter to create the tag. So it will automatically apply the tag to the line that we currently have selected. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that tag from there. And so if I want to tag all of my scenes that take place interior, I can do just that. If later on I want to rename this or change the color, I just need to hover over this tag and hit the three dot menu. And here I can either change the color or rename it from the same menu. You can see once we've applied the tag, we'll see a color indicator on the left hand margin showing that this scene has been tagged. If you don't have the tag window up and you decide to use the shortcut, the tagger will appear wherever you have selected text. So for example, if we wanted to tag all of our props that we have in a particular scene, I can highlight my prop and then use the keyboard shortcut, Control alt t and we can see a smaller version of the tagger, but instead of down here, it is next to our selected text. So I'll create a new tag for props, change the color, a nice green sounds good, and then hit enter to create it. You can see, since we had that selection highlighted, the text is now changed into the color of the tag. So now that we have our props tagged, if we click the filter icon next to the props tag, the script will get filtered down to just show us any line that contains a prop. This way, if we need to, we can just have a quick look at what we would need to gather for the day, or for the interior, if we just needed a quick breakdown of the different locations we had that were inside, we can filter down to the scenes tagged as interior. And that, in a nutshell, is the tagger. We hope you can already start imagining all the different ways that you can use this to help plot your script, revise it, and even break it down for production. To check out more about filtering your script using tags, we definitely recommend checking out our Tag and Filter article, as well as our filtering content video.